So silver screens or screen covers, um, whatever people call them. Um, obviously you're going to see the company that make these. I'm not promoting them necessarily. You buy your screens from wherever you want, but they all fit the same way. So I've done one side. I'll come back to that in a minute. You get your screens, you unroll them. Um, you'll pop them over the mirrors. So a bit of Velcro here. Just undo that. And uh, just make sure that part's over the mirror like that. Look, that's good. This line normally falls just inside your windscreen line, but not on all of them. So just line it up. So what you'll do then is, silver screen here has to line up with the door here. So you'll get it in position. You have to wiggle it, it moves on the corners. You'll line it up there and it's ready to go on. Now I've done the other side. Basically what you do is, this one will move because I'm not holding it. Open your door. And the inside part goes over the inside of the door. So you'll put it over the corner and you'll pull it down and I'll just move to the other side to show you what, uh, what you do then. So I've done that with this side, as you can see. I've put it on, I've then shut the door. Now there's one critical thing that you must do or else you are going to get water on your door switches inside. So if you can see, this is a perfect fit. It's absolutely perfect. But what people do is they get this part wrapped over. And on the front edge of this, there's a gutter. So if it rains now, the water will run in here across to the front and down the inside of my door. Now, if you don't get that in the right place, and you do that, you are 100% gonna get water inside your motorhome. There is no doubt, and it will make a right mess. So please take some time and effort to pull this down here. You can see what happens at the top. Get the alignment right. Make sure this gutter's here, pull it down. Bear in mind I'm doing this with one hand and push it too. It's not perfect because I'm doing it with one hand, but the water will now run down there if it rains. Get it fitting round here. Again, I'm doing it with one hand, it's far easier with two. Pull the tension, push the Velcro, check they're all fitted okay. And it's as easy as that. With two hands, it's dead easy. They get more flexible as they get older. But um, it's a good bit of kit. It stops the condensation inside your windscreen from the temperature difference from outside to inside. Um, it's not as important now. It's about 20 degrees. It's not a problem for us. But in winter, or if you're using the heating, or if you're putting damp stuff inside, which you shouldn't really do, uh, you need these screens. They're about 150 pounds, or about 80 pounds off eBay if you're lucky. So there you go, pick your own make, all do the same, but uh, you need them, you really do need them.